What is going on everybody? This is Achille and today I am bringing you some brand new news on Destiny, The Taken King, as well as moving forward. And it has to do with shaders. Now, if you go on Bungie.net and you go to the Armory page and you look at the inventory and then click on shaders, um, just a couple days ago there was 54 and they hadn't added anything. Well now they are showing 68 results. Um, if you look at one of them, it is Chatter White Repeated, so obviously there's 67. But looking at it, there are some brand new shaders that I'm going to go over in this video. Right now, I'm just going to the tower and kind of showing off on the different characters all the shaders I have. Now, I am currently going after all the shaders for each faction. So, as you saw in my Titan, I had uh, the three... Bitter Steel, Revenant, and one more, the Hanged Man. I still need uh, the Nowhere. Um, on my Hunter, I am going for Future War Colt. So as you saw right there, I have two of them. I need two more. And I'm switching characters right here to go to my Warlock, who's working on New Monarchy. And I have the two there. Now, with the total vault space that we have right now, with everything going on, if you were to fully load... Uh, each character with 10 shaders and then fill up your entire vault you would have 54 slots so obviously now with these new ones being introduced in the Taken King Bungie has to expand the vault or kind of redefine their shader inventory system the lady who sells shaders in the tower should play a bigger role I think more than just selling um, emblems and shaders I feel like you should be able to have her memorize one. Like, I don't want to have to use three spaces for a chatter white on each character. That just doesn't make sense. But let's face it, you know, the chatter white shader can look good on a lot of different armors. So if they could kind of do something where maybe she memorizes a shader for you, you pay her a certain amount uh, or a certain fee, and she, you know, ends up memorizing that and then you can use it later, that would be fantastic because that would allow us to have endless shader possibilities. Um, honestly, I think moving forward, they should expand it even more as in customizing your guardian, you know, something where you can, at the very bare least, like, make your own shaders. I know that would be kind of hard to do, but having a very basic, you know, color palette, um, you know, having the selection of, like, a primary, secondary, and third color coordination thing that would be fantastic to me i think because that would really give us the full expansive ability to customize our guardian and that's really what destiny's really trying to to put forward is is having that so right now i, I came back to the tower i'm going to show you my vault right here so each character is loaded up with tin and uh, right here are all the shaders most of them are the rare ones actually i think all of them are besides the uh the blue one that is on the far right that we're about to see um, whatever it's called, a uh, double banshee. That was the one that you got from the codes. But here are some screenshots of the new one that I'd like to go over. So this is Amber Hoplite, and you know it looks kind of cool. It's got this orangish brown hue to it. These are all legendary, by the way, so you'll kind of see what they're about. But that was the first one on the list that we went through. The next one is called August Seraph, um, and it looks to be an all yellow one, maybe typical to Aru's Passage, which is the Iron or the Trials one. So we'll kind of be interested to see what that one looks like. Um, Barrier Ethos could possibly be the Suros pre-order one. Now they would list it on the Armory now, however it hasn't come out yet, but it looks, you know, that red and white hue could be that shader. The next one is Lost City, again another yellow one that looks very similar to August Sarah. This one looks more gold. You know, kind of a rustic feel possibly. So who knows what that one will be. The Fallen Crown, I think, will have to do with maybe like completing the normal raid when it comes out and, and de defeating Oryx. When they did Crota, obviously we got the normal shader and then you got Glowhu, which was the hard shader. I think this one will be the hard raid complete one. The Eye of the Mad God, obviously. Oryx is considered a god. This shader looks sick right now with that red and kind of black. I'm interested to see how that plays out. This next one was kind of hilarious. It's called Sparkle Pony. Now, if you look at it, it's kind of got that blue, baby blue, and purple hue. So I could see that one kind of looking similar to the one that the Queen offers on the reef. Um, Stolen Chalice looks like a mix between the Nowhere and Chatterwhite, kind of like a, a um, 
a dead orbit fifth shader and they could be introducing those so who knows but that looks like a possibility now the super black i believe will be the one for all the year one destiny players they've shown it off before it's an all black sparrow shader emblem package and i think that'll be the one that we see uh this next one is called walkabout again this one kind of looks like the two that uh the queen bounty lady sells the rose golden prism dancer so who knows how that one will turn out but it looks pretty sick at this point uh this one called the ointment now i think this one looks awesome because it's like a green and blue kind of looks like the seattle seahawks colors but we don't really have many green shaders in the game besides like polar oak and a couple others the last one that they showed was the eye now the eye i think will link somehow to the trials of osiris and kind of the the reef or not the reef but um the lighthouse i am interested to see where bungie goes in the future with these shaders and in the taken king anyways if you guys liked the video leave me a thumbs up in the comments below i hope you guys have a wonderful evening and i will catch you fuckers later peace